Hi, now here we have an example on hypothesis testing, which uh, you might like to try if you haven't tried already. Just give you a moment to read it, come back when ready, and as usual, I'll take you through the work solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So what we've got here is that in a second opinion poll of N randomly selected people, it was found that no one would vote for Mrs. George. And then using a 1% level of significance, find the smallest value of n for which the hypothesis, that is the null hypothesis, p is equal to 0.45, will we be rejected in favour of the alternative hypothesis that p is less than 0.45. Now to do something like this, what we need to do is set up a random variable. And I'm going to say let that random variable be x. So let x be the random variable, rv for short. And in this example, it's going to represent the number of people who vote. OK, let's just say people voting for Mrs. George. Um, just. Write that in there, Mrs. George, Mrs. G for short. And our random variable x is going to be distributed as a binomial distribution. The two parameters will be n, the number of trials, which is what we've got to find. And it will be p, the probability of success. We know it's a binomial model because there's two outcomes, that someone will vote for Mrs. George or not. There's a finite number of trials, and I'm assuming that the probabilities remain constant and independent. So we've got a binomial model here. Now to do this test, we know that no one would vote for Mrs. George. So we've got an observed value which we'll call x. That observed value is that no one, zero people, voted for Mrs. George. And we're testing this at the 1% level of significance, alpha equals 1%, or as a decimal, that's 0.01. Now, if you've been watching videos in my series on significance testing, you'll know that what I tend to do is look at a rejection region. And I make up a statement like this, that reject the null hypothesis if well, in this case, it's going to be reject the null hypothesis if the probability that our random variable x equals 0, no people in fact, vote for Mrs. George, given that the null hypothesis is true. In other words, that p equals 0.45. If this probability turns out to be less than or equal to our significance level, which in this case is 0.01. Now to work out this probability, we should be familiar with working out probabilities from a binomial model. That if you're trying to work out the probability that x equals, say, r successes, this is equal to ncr p to the power r multiplied by q to the power n minus r where q is the probability of failure. In other words, 1 minus p. So this is a result that you should be familiar with. So just highlight that. OK, just put a box around it for the time being. And if we use that result, let's just come down here. If we use that result, then the probability x equals 0 is going to be given by nc0 and then p, the probability of success, is 0.45. That's going to be to the power 0. And then you've got q, which is 1 minus p, so that's going to be 0.55. And that's to the power n has got to be less than or equal to 0.01. Now, nc0 is 1. Anything c0 is 1. 0.45 to the power 0 is 1, so it just leaves us with 0.55 to the power n. And that's got to be less than or equal to 0.01. Now to solve something like this, where the unknown is a power, what we need to do is take logs to both sides. And you can take logs in any base, as long as it's the same base to both sides. 
Leave it up to you. I'm going to take logs in base 10. Another favorite might be natural logs, okay? Base C, e, in other words. So what we've got here is log of 0.55 to the power n is less than or equal to the log of 0.01. So as I say, you can use any base, okay? Do experiment with this. Now, next I use the power rule for logs. And that is that the power here can be brought out the front of the log. So therefore we have n log of 0.55 is less than or equal to the log of 0.01. Now we've got to be very careful here because it's so easy to trip up. Because to get n it would seem that we just simply divide both sides by the log of 0.55. Indeed we do. But let me just show you something if you're not aware of this. Okay, we'll just put a note here. And that is if you take the log of, say, any value, let's call it a, and a is a value less than one. Okay, we'll just say if a is less than one. If you take the log of any number less than one, then you'll find that you get a negative value for the log of it, okay? It'll be turn, it'll turn out to be less than zero, a negative value. So this is a very important result. And why is it an important result? Because when you divide by a negative number in an inequality, the inequality reverses. So for this one, we've got that therefore n would be greater than or equal to the log of 0.01 over the log of 0.55. So I'll just highlight that inequality in red just to draw attention to it, okay? It's been reversed. So n is greater than or equal to the log of 0.01 divided by the log of 0.55. Now, if you work this out on your calculator, you'll find that n turns out to be greater than or equal to 7.70 and so on. And you'll get exactly the same result if you are using logs in another base. Natural logs, for instance, the natural log of 0.01 over the natural log of 0.55 would still give you this result. Try it, okay? Now, we're asked to find the smallest value of n. And since n has to be a positive integer, then we therefore have the smallest value of n, let's just say the least value of n, has to be 8. Okay, smallest value of n that's greater than 7.70. Okay, so there's our answer, least value of n equals 8.